Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 4 Pro Hard Mode. And today we are going to be taking down Colossus number 6, the one that I refer to as the Peekaboo Boss. Now, uh, if you didn't watch the last video, then make sure you watch the ending of the last video, because I did show you guys and girls how to find this barrel from the last Guardian, which is actually an Easter egg, and you also get a trophy for finding it. So, if you want to find this barrel... Make sure you watch my last video, because I showed it near the ending after we defeated the fifth Colossus. But yeah, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take down Colossus number six. But first, we're going to have to go on a bit of a road trip, because it is, it is quite a long run to this next boss. I think, if I remember correctly, it's sort of in between... You see those two fruit trees? You've got two there, two there. I think it's in between those two. Because as you run around the map, all of these clads are going to leave, you know. All of these stupid, like, clads that block the map will vanish, you know. But yeah, it's, it's going to take a while just because we have to run through this forest. Because for some reason, when you try to ride aggro through these woods, he doesn't really play along very well. He gets very annoying and starts walking really slow. <laughs> so we're going to have to just run on foot for now. Obviously, the further away you get from aggro, it changes, it changes how uh, Wanda calls him, you know. Because if he's really close, he just goes aggro. If he's far away, he shouts aggro. And if you're really far away, he whistles. Like that. So, you sort of... It's, it's good to know... Oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's a good way of knowing how far away your horse is. Because there are a couple of bosses in this game where you need to use the horse. And if you don't use the horse, you will die. Like, for example, I think boss number... Eight, nine... Boss number... 10 I think it is. If you don't use the horse on that boss, you will just get absolutely mullered. <laughs> I mean, there might be a way of doing it without a horse, but I've, I've tried because I don't like using the horse and I just got destroyed, so. Yeah, I think we are going the right way. We want to come around this way now. It's, it's a bit more annoying in these wooded bits because you can't really see anything. I suppose that's one perk of playing this on the PlayStation 2. There was nowhere near as much like lush environment, you know, because it was a, a lower quality game. But on the PS4 version, the amount of f like flora they've added is insane. All, all you have to do is go and watch a couple of comparison videos. It is insane how beautiful this game looks compared to the PlayStation 2 one. But because back on the PlayStation 2... When, uh, when, the reason why I was so excited for this is because back during the PlayStation 2 days, you know, an early PC, early, like, you know, I d Xbox, I don't even think Xbox might not have even been out then still. Or Xbox might have just come out. And uh, obviously you had the GameCube. There wasn't really many games where you would have massive monsters like Colossus walking around on the screen how they do in this game. Obviously there would be a few games where you had, like, big monsters, but in technology... There was nothing with, like, a massive beast just walking around, how freely they walk around in this game, you know? So when I saw it, I was, like, instantly just really excited for it, you know? Because back in, back on the PS2 days, I didn't have internet, you know? And I saw it in a magazine, one of my PlayStation magazines. And I generally keep my PlayStation magazines. I still have loads of them from the PS1 day. But, uh, I, um, I, I must have lost that one because I could not find the book. And then that, that meant I could never remember the name of this game. And it was only when I finally went into game one day and I saw the box cover on a random game that was in the in the uh, second hand bin and I managed to finally play this game. Because <laughs> I was well excited for it. Because back when I was younger, I couldn't really get games new ever, you know. The only times I would ever get a game would be birthday and Christmas. And as you guys know, I'm born on the 20th of December. So that meant most of the year I wouldn't have any games to play. And then occasionally, if I did have any money, all I could really do was rent games, you know. But then I got older, you know, and I had a paper round, you know. So that's when I could start buying lots more games. And that's when I become a lot more hardcore with my gaming. When I could start buying them. That's probably why I loved Crash so much, you know. Because it was one of the games, that, one of the few games I owned, you know. And it just never got boring. Whereas the other ones, I would replay them and I'd get bored. Whereas Crash, I just... Crash, Crash and Oddworld, I could just play them over and over. Especially Oddworld, Abe's Exodus. That game just felt like it was an eternity, you know. I mean, when I play it now, the game's very short. It feels very short. But when I played it back then, it felt like it just didn't end. It's a beautiful game. Especially with all of the uh, added stuff, like the uh, the secret areas where all the Mudokans were. And you had to pay attention on the floor and look for the green Oddworld bottles. I keep getting some weird blur. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. I mentioned this two videos back. But I get this random weird blur on the screen. I don't know if it's my TV or if it's because I'm in a dark area. 
Or I'm just, maybe I'm just going blind. Okay, here we go. Okay, right. So what do we have to do on this boss? Now there is, this boss has an additional weakness depending on difficulty. So on easy he has one weak spot, on normal he has two, and I think on hard he has three. I think they add another weak spot to his hand, which you don't normally have to do. But I'm not sure if it's this boss or another boss. Because there's two very similar bosses. A, Colossus number 15 is a lot like this boss. But Colossus number 15 is probably my least favourite boss. Just because he's, he's such a pain in the butt. Right. Because what, what we're going to do. I'll explain it now. So once you jump off of this, um, this wall here. The Colossus is going to burst through the wall. We're going to have to run across this uh, big open courtyard and jump over these walls until eventually we get over the back there. Let me try and show you. Until we get over the back there. Now, uh, over the back there is uh, it's actually got a little roof on it so you can hide in there. Now, because the Colossus is so tall, he can't see you. So if you're lucky, he won't try and punch you because sometimes he tries to punch you instead. But eventually he will lean down and he will start peeking through the gaps trying to see you. Now, when he does it, because he's got a very long beard, you can grab his beard and use it to climb up onto his body. So uh, that's what that's how you get onto the Colossus. But sometimes he will he will just try and punch you instead of actually peeking. But this is why I call him the peekaboo boss. Because whilst you're hiding in the back there, he just leans down. He's like peekaboo. It's 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 funny. It's it's actually cute. <laughs> but yeah, once he peeks down, you get onto his beard. You have to climb up onto his head. The first weak spot is his head. Then I think the next weak spot is his lower left side of his back, or it might be his left chest, but I think it's his lower back. Then once you've took down those two, I think you need to drop off of him, because I can't remember if the third one is on his hand. We're going to have to find out in a minute. But then you drop off his body, then you hide under that thing again, and when he does his little peekaboo thing again, he should put his hand down like that flat. When he does it, you can jump onto his hand. There's probably other ways of doing it, but this is the way I do it. So let's, let's give this a go. I've got a parachute, so we don't have to go down the slow way. We can just jump. <laughs> Quick! Oh, that was close. I nearly forgot to press it. Is he coming? Okay, right. Okay, he's a big boy, isn't he? Now, uh, one thing you need to remember, once you... Oh, God. Once you jump over this wall, uh, there's going to be like a little cutscene of him crashing through the wall. Now, during that cutscene, you still have control of Wanda, so don't accidentally run into something. Like, watch, ready? Yeah, see, right now, I'm still controlling Wanda. See, look, see him moving? So make sure you don't actually accidentally run Wanda into a wall or something, you know? Because <laughs> I've done that a few times. I've run him into a wall, and then the Colossus is just, like, stamped on me. And uh, you don't... Oh, God. That's one of the problems with a parachute. Sometimes it pops at a very inconvenient time. I should get rid of the parachute. It's more annoying than useful. I've got so much health that I'm not going to die from falling anyway. Right. So now you want to hide under here. And we're going to have to wait for the boss to come over. So we're going to get our um, explosive bow out. Actually, whilst I've got a chance... If I shoot his hand... I think it might be his, his left hand. Yeah, his left hand. Oh god, that's what you don't want him to do. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get on his hand, it's good, I suppose. But that's the wrong hand, anyway. Yeah, I think he's going to peek now. Get ready to jump on his beard now. See, look at him, look. peek a -boo. There we go, lovely. Right, so first we're going to take down his head. Which sounds a bit kinky. And then once we've done that, we're going to take down his lower back. I think it is his lower back. Then once we've done that, I, I think the last spot is his hand. If not, then we're going to have to try and find it. Let's try and get 
try and do it before he shakes. Oh, no. Oh, God. Here we go. He's already shaking. Was that enough of a plunge? I'm not sure. Yes, it was. Lovely. Because if you don't bring your arm all the way back, even with the Queen Sword, you will have to stab him again. Now, I think the next one might be on his chest, actually. I think it's his front chest. Or it might be his back. I swear, it, I swear it's his back. Because I know he's like very similar to Colossus number 15, but he's like got it on the opposite side. Maybe it's his back. I don't want to fall. Oh yeah, it is his back. Okay, I was right then. I think I said his back first. I, I always second guess myself, even when I'm I'm nearly 100% sure. I start second guessing myself. And I shouldn't really be doing that, especially on YouTube, when I'm explaining what to do. The music is so great. Love the music in this game. Ready? Yeah, because normally he would be defeated now. Right, I'm going to jump off of him now. Oh, oh god, oh. That was close. Watch out, he's going to step on me. Oh. Right, so if we come back under here... I mean, if you, if you don't know where their weak spots are, or their vital spots, whatever you want to call them, just shine your light on them. Now, this is um, one thing I was mentioning where I said... Yeah, it's got to be his... Yeah, it is his hand, isn't it? This is one of the this is one of the few situations where that other sword is useful because you know I said on the first video that one of the swords, uh, your main sword doesn't work in shadowy places. Well, uh, the second sword you unlock does work in shadowy places, so you can use it in this area right here to try and find their weak spots. You know, obviously once you've got the queen sword, it doesn't matter. You just use the queen sword. You want to wait for him to put his hand down nice and flat. Here we go, here we go. Lovely. I mean, I, that was pretty crappy, actually. I thought I got flattened then. Ready? Ah, oh, sweet. Okay then, this um, the next boss we have to do is another one of those bosses that is quite annoying. Just because this is a uh, an underwater boss, you know, so this next boss is going to be quite annoying. But I think the next boss will take a bit longer to defeat than usual. So I think what we'll do, because I've got a couple of minutes left, 
I don't, I don't like these videos being too short, you know, so I like to, like, do something extra at the end of these videos if I've already defeated the Colossus and there's nothing left to do. So I think what we'll do is I will show you guys and girls quickly where to find a turtle. Now, if you're trying to get the trophy for um, interacting with all of the animals, finding an eagle and a dove is pretty easy because eagles always fly near you. Doves are inside the shrine. You'll find a fish, I think, on the way to the, um, might be the ninth Colossus, I think it is, but you will see the fish. And uh, the turtle is the one that you probably won't see. And because they, they just look like a rock, it is, it's very easy to miss them. So I'll show you one spot that I have found a, um, a turtle before. You don't actually have to grab them or anything. I think all you have to do is just touch them, you know, or walk near them so they put their heads in their shells, you know. So uh, we, we have to go this way anyway for the next Colossus, I think. Yeah, so we might as well come over here anyway. We did pretty well so far, though, considering I've been... Oh, oh, this is what I'm talking about, where he randomly does stupid crap, the horse. Like, there was no need for that. I mean, come on, aggro. Give it a rest. But yeah, considering I've been uh, pretty ill for a while, I'm, I think this has gone pretty well, this playthrough so far. We've not had... I don't think we've died yet, so that's good. So I, could have, I could call it a no-death playthrough. Right, now, is it here? No, I know it's... Alright, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's this little bit here where there's like little set of rocks. Is. It's either this set of rocks or it's that set of rocks over there. I know there's a, there was a tree nearby. Is it this bit? No, it might be up here then. Oh, I might be here actually, because this this year, because I remember there being a tree around. Yeah, I remember like this, like dead wood. Oh, there he is! Look. There you go. <laughs> I didn't even see him then. Let's get me a bow out. I'm not going to shoot him. I just want to look at him. There he is. Ah, oh, it's so stealthy though. I mean, look how well he blends into the terrain. It's impossible to see him, especially because most of the time when you're running around in this game, you're already on your pony, so you, you're going really quick, so you don't really have a chance to spot him, you know. Obviously, spotting a bird is easy, but these guys, look at them. All you have to do is just, like, pop him like that. There you go. Let's just step on him. And then, uh, once you do that, that should trigger the trophy. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. So we're going to end the video now, and next time we will take down the water boss. So yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf of Wars. Uh, thanks for watching Wolf of Warfare. Hopefully I learn English. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh.